Kumal Nanjiani has been plastered over the news these past few days for his dramatic transformation. Kumal Nanjiani, known for Silicon Valley, revealed his new muscular look for the Marvel movie Eternals earlier in the month. Jaws dropped when actor Kumal Nanjiani revealed his newly chiseled physique to the world last week, with many wondering how the future superhero beefed up, seemingly overnight. Kumal Nanjiani's thirst trap photo is getting him some interesting job offers. It's been a weird week for the Eternal star. The actor posted a shirtless selfie on social media earlier in the week to show off his radical body transformation for the Marvel role. Kumal Nanjiani exposed his hot furry yesterday and we're still out here making articles about it. And I'm sure there's dozens of these celebrity examples where they are suddenly a Marvel statue after a few mere months of exercise. Kumail gives credit to the usual. I would not have been able to do this if I didn't have a full year with the best trainers and nutritionists paid for by the biggest studio in the world, he wrote. I'm glad I look like this, but I also understand why I never did before. It would have been impossible without these resources and time. You know, I wonder what resources he could be talking about. I've been a personal trainer for a few years professionally, have had plenty of clients that were working with nutritionists, and keep in mind, very wealthy and educated clientele. I have never had a client look like that at any point in time. A natural person will never be capable of this type of transformation, especially over that period of time. In fact, even with steroids, the right diet, a personal trainer, it's not going to happen. This is expert level steroid usage, copious amounts of performance enhancing drugs. The routine and diet come secondary. Several types of steroids were definitely used, dosed by a very experienced person that has done this many times, probably with celebrities, actors, whoever it may be. Very clear, they have a formula that works. The reason I am able to make dramatic progress over a few months is because I have muscle memory from weightlifting for eight years, as well as the mind-muscle connection that comes with that. Once you spend a few years in the gym, some time researching fitness, you realize pretty quickly what is capable naturally and what is not. The majority of the population doesn't have that experience and they want to take things at face value in a positive light. But when you have 19 year olds deadlifting 700 pounds, 55 year olds deadlifting 700 pounds, and people believe they're natural, it gets, it really devalues what a true natural is. Steroids make his muscles grow much quicker, obviously, allowing for the establishment of this mind-muscle connection. Basically, mind-muscle connection is your ability to stimulate the muscles while exercising. But if you have no muscle mass, like he did when he started, it's hard to stimulate something you don't have. This is the biggest challenge for the novice weightlifter, and many don't optimize this despite years of training unless you stick a needle in your tushy. Once you have a base of muscle on every part of your body, it's so much easier to go in the gym and take those muscles to failure. Unfortunately, it's like this about everything when you try to have a conversation with the average brainwashed person. Imagine if I go into a sports bar and start explaining to people that every single professional football player is on steroids. And then you have the taboo that steroids are illegal. Wouldn't go over too well. Are steroids really that magical? Absolutely especially when you consider how most men have very low testosterone due to all of the estrogen we are exposed to in our modern lifestyle. Estrogenic herbicides like atrazine in conventional animal products, meat, eggs, dairy, birth control in our water supply, phytoestrogens in soy products, BPA contained in plastic is estrogenic. Our testosterone is under attack has been under attack for dozens of years. It's why I look like a fairy boy. And by using steroids, Kumal Nanjiani isn't only getting muscular, he's reversing the estrogen epidemic affecting us. They are all a bunch of liars. 
And the root problem with everything, the reason we aren't happy, healthy, and thriving is because there are people that will lie to put themselves ahead of other people. Whether it's using steroids, stealing other people's information, getting paid by special interest groups to say certain things, <coughs> Ryan fed beef, <coughs> Uh, if someone is willing to lie about something like that, that's clearly not good for you, what else are they willing to lie about? Everything. As you guys know, people are not smart enough, they are not educated enough, they are very naive, they are unable to see the clear special interest funding, and 99.9% .9 of people, especially in America, go through their entire lives without thinking outside of the echo chamber that is modern life. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe if you haven't, definitely hit that bell icon. Of course, share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, I just released my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet. Check the link to that out in the description. You can also go to Frankie's Free Range Meat for high quality animal foods, Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products, as well as frank-defano.com for fitness and nutrition consultations. Thank you again for joining me and enjoy the rest of your day.